Hey, hey, Living Modders. It's Director of Ministry, Katie Weber, and I am back on this Friday, September 16th, 2022. We actually had quite a few new folks just start following us recently. So I'm going to take a second here and introduce myself. Like I said, my name is Katie Weber, and I am the Director of Ministry at Living Waters Lutheran Church here in Lino Lakes. Um, I have been on staff for, I think, almost five years now. It was 2018. No, four years. Four years. Um, and I love it here. My husband and I were members here for about um, 10 years prior to me joining the staff. So we've been around for a while. Um, raised our kids in the church and just this is where my heart is so um, I am blessed to be able to work here I do um, like oversee the office stuff I guess is what you would say um, just doing a little bit of everything and um, just I am in a, a very supportive role so supporting the folks who are doing the bulletin and working with music and doing all of those different various things throughout the congregation so that is my role here. Um, I will, uh, I'm around a lot. So if you, if you see me, just please do feel free to introduce yourself and um, thank you for being here. It's, it, this is a great place and we're having just a fantastic, lovely, lovely time. So um, I do try and do these chats on Fridays that go out in the weekly e-newsletter. We call it the e-blast. Um, it's been a minute since I've done one, so I have a ton of information to try and cover here and I try and keep these under five minutes so I it's not gonna happen today but I try so again welcome and if you've been around for a while welcome back let me see here so first of all let's I just want to say thank you to everyone who came out this past Sunday on September 11th um, we did have a, a meeting about the church finances um, and as we are migrating our bookkeeping practices to an a off-site um, company, Clergy Financial is their name. Um, things are, I, th I think things are going pretty smooth with that. Um, and then just those of you who gave a little bit extra to try and help fill in this gap, we are experiencing some lean financial times right now. So we are really um, working diligently to try and come up with ideas of different ways that we can um, really support Living Waters financially. And, um, and we're working on those. So if you have any ideas, please let us know. And again, thank you for um, those of you who stayed after. There was another email that went out earlier this week about the finances too. So if for some reason you didn't see that, go ahead and go back and check that out. Um, this week, which is September 18th, we are on our second week of our fall worship series called um, Being God's Living Waters, Our Lives in Faithful Action. Um, one thing you are going to notice is there's going to be a little bit of repetition with this particular worship series in that we are going to be reading Psalm 1 every single week. But we're not going to be reading the same version or the same translation every week. So last week we read the NRSV, which is like our pew Bibles. That is um, the new revised standard version. I think that's it. Yeah. Um, and this week we are reading the NIV version, which is the new international version. So similar, similar wording. And yet there's just these little differences. So um, do like kind of keep your ears open for that on Sunday. Um, and it's actually printed in the bulletin as well. Um, but just want to let you know that you are going to be hearing the same song over and over again. And yet it's going to be just a tiny bit different. So um, that is what's happening. Um, oh, we are also doing faith practices because our faith is in action. It's not just us believing. There are things that we can do to live into our faith. So um, last week I handed out a... Uh, it was like a little sheet. Of course, I'm not organized and I don't have it in front of me. Um, but with the faith practices on it, this week the faith practices are actually in the bulletin. And of course, I highlighted mine because I like mine to be pretty. Can you guys see that? Yeah. Um, so the faith practices are right there in the, bullet in the bulletin this week. Um, so if you want to, you know, have access to those, take them home. Otherwise, of course, they're below in the blast as well. 
and they will be out on the website. So that's that. Um, All Church Confirmation starts this coming Sunday at 11 a.m. What is All Church Confirmation? Well, it's confirmation for the youth, you know, the middle school and high schoolers who are, or the middle schoolers who are going to be confirmed. Um, but it's also confirmation for us. I don't know about you, but I went through confirmation, I think it was confirmed when I was in ninth or 10th grade, so like 7th, 8th, ninth. And my faith has changed so much over the years. I mean, just thinking about the Lord's Prayer and those types of things that we have been praying since we were young. But things change. Like, it means so many different things to me now than it did when I was 14, 15. So I'm really excited to hear um, hear the confirmation side of things. Um, I feel like I learned so much more about the Bible and everything when I was teaching Sunday school back when my kids were young. So I just, it's a great opportunity for us to kind of have the opportunity to relearn some of that stuff and really just see how our faith has changed over the years. You know, when we were children, our faith would look like this, and now it might look like this, or this, and this. So I'm really excited, and I hope you are too, and I hope you will consider joining us again Sunday at um, 11 a.m., so following worship. You can grab a treat and head into the chapel. That is where um, all church confirmation will be held. Sunday school is also going to be held at the same time. Sunday school, however, will be down in the fellowship hall, which is also known as the ABC classroom. Um, and that is also at 11 o'clock on Sunday. Um, and the, the students, the kids are going to be doing things that are related to our fall theme, being God's living waters. So lots of exciting stuff happening on Sunday. Um, and that really is going to be our one big faith day, our one big church day. We are trying to shift to just things happening um, on Sunday as far as education. So we'll see how that works. We're, we just want to make this really accessible to everyone. Um, if you have not already registered, please do register. Um, we are asking for just one registration for the full family for fall. Um, meaning if you're going to be doing adult confirmation or if you have a little or even if you have a tiny little who will be hanging out in the nursery from time to time um, please do register and um, that is it, it's just really helpful for us to know um, one it updates our um, contact information and two it's really helpful to know if there's food allergies or anything that we need to know about that kind of stuff so everyone, whether you are 95 or 10 days old, please do fill out one of those registration forms. Um, coming up on the 25th, running along with our All Church Confirmation, we are going to be doing new member orientation. Um, that'll be talking about our lives and our faith in the Lutheran Church. And um, child care is provided, so if you have a little they will be going into the nursery or they can go into the nursery. Of course, they can stay with you as well. Um, but the nursery will be open. Sarah Greeno, Jenny Witzman, and I, I'm going to try and be in there as well. Um, so there will be um, some loving, caring adults right there in the nursery to take care of the littles. The older kids, like the three-year-olds and up, are going to go ahead and go into Sunday school. So child care is provided all around for everyone. And then on October 2nd, we will be receiving the new members during worship in a blessing. Um, okay, I think that I think that's all I have. I'm like at 10 minutes, you guys. I'm so sorry. Um, there's just so much good stuff, good stuff happening around here. So I hope to see you on Sunday. I pray that you are having a really great week. And take care. Be well. And God bless.